Hi, meteorologist John Dawson from Fox 26 in Houston. This is our tropical update just for YouTube. I'm glad you found us here. Want to give a little bit of time to sort of explain what's happening out there in the tropics. And just a reminder, we do this throughout the entire hurricane season. So we'll be here all the way through November the 30th, whether it's very active out there in the Atlantic or in the Pacific as well, or if things are kind of quiet. And we, we actually have a few things that the National Hurricane Center really kind of taking in a closer look at right now. So we want to go ahead and do that as well. We'll start with a disturbance that's up near Bermuda and actually this is becoming even less organized and less favorable to become a tropical system. Uh, but again, the Hurricane Center looking at it, keeping an eye on it. Definitely going to bring perhaps some rain uh, over to Bermuda, but for the most part, it doesn't look like this would be a tropical cyclone. Only a 10% chance over the next five days that that would develop. Now, as we look down at the Central Caribbean, there is an area uh, of low pressure, kind of a broad area. Uh, this has definitely been something that kind of has been the keeping attention for at least, let's say four or five days. That's sort of just been noticed and watched and becoming uh, continuing to become even more favorable possibly uh, for that development. Uh, officially, that's going to be referred to as Invest 95 L uh, is a name that's been given to this so far. When I say a name, just an identifier, a way to sort of again keep talking about the same area. Uh, it's in the Central Caribbean. 50% uh, chance over the next two days that that could develop into a tropical cyclone and a 70% chance that that would develop over the next five days. So those are some higher numbers. Of course, always using the red there to indicate that, that that's a higher number. So the shaded area is where that might be developed over the next five days. Got a few lines kind of drawn in here that some of our computer modeling, uh, you know, the spaghetti plot as it's sometimes referred to. Uh, those are again just to sort of give you that reference of of what the Hurricane Center is looking at and what the models are saying. And the red area is really focused on where that development might take place when it would officially become a tropical cyclone. So remember the computer models, they're really designed primarily once you already have a tropical cyclone, but they, you know, they give it a pretty good idea and some, uh, so some perspective on things for sure, even before that happens. But what I think is important for us folks here in the United States, at least, is that this is going to stay in the Caribbean and then head over towards Central America. So it's not going to be something that gets out even into the Gulf of Mexico. And at this point, time of the year, we're continuing to have the fronts that would even if it were to get into the Gulf of Mexico, the fronts kind of protect the Gulf Coast a little bit of the US. So at the moment, this looks like I think it is going to become our next name storm uh, over the next five days, and it does look like it'll stay in the Caribbean uh, and then continue to head almost pretty much due west is sort of the track that this is going to be favored uh, when it does so. But a little bit of time, definitely some uncertainty still involved there. So as I mentioned, I do think it's going to be the next named storm that we're going to be dealing with. Uh, that's going to be Lisa. Uh, as, as far as we're going through the list, if you'll remember, Carl is the last one that we used. And so I think within the next three to five days, Lisa will probably be checked uh, off of the list. It really could even be before that, but for sure, three to five days, I think of uh, the probabilities there that we would have a named uh, storm or a cyclone, and I think it would develop into a named storm, so we'd have Lisa uh, if we do that. Thanks for finding us here on uh, YouTube. Again, check back daily all the way through November, and if you haven't noticed, again, we're here in Houston. Go Astros! If you want to follow me, leave me some comments. Maybe you're not an Astros fan. Maybe you are one. It'd be great to connect and hear from you a little bit. You can see this jacket on my Instagram. That's going to be at John Dawson Fox 26. We'll be back here again tomorrow with another tropical update.